Good evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to my TV. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for brand new content. This your boy, Gold Mouth Shorty. Let me get straight down to business. Hey, man, we got that boy, OJ, the juice man in the news headlines today. He done got jammed up, man, out there in uh, Kentucky, man. They say he had a loaded pocket rocket on him, some marijuana, and some drug paraphernalia. I know y'all ain't heard about OJ, juice man, and some time. But he just had got a re award, you know what I mean? And, you know, this ain't looking good for him, you know what I mean? Because he's an icon in them East Atlanta streets, you know what I'm saying? Him riding around with that pocket rocket out there in Kentucky, you know that's mandatory. At least have one pocket rocket because he is a star. But at the same time, man, he should have had some paid security, man. So, you know, when he ride with that Thule, man, Everything, you know, Gucci, you know what I mean? And we ain't heard nothing from Gucci, man. I seen the picture with him and Gucci, you know what I'm saying, not too long ago. But OJ the Juice, man, still working on his 32 in ENT, you know what I'm saying? That's his only focus. But him and Gucci, man, they rose to fame together in the early 2000s. They used to stay over there in that boulder crash, you know, in the same apartment complex. Everybody know they little history, you know what I'm saying? My dog got uh, beats from 808 Mafia, Metro Boomin, you know what I'm saying, Zaytoven, you feel me? He done did shows everywhere, man. But it ain't looking good because he is a, a known felon, you know what I'm saying? He ain't a career criminal, but he is a felon already, so he got charged with uh, carrying a concealed firearm uh, by a convicted felon, you know what I mean? And the marijuana, I think it was under 20 grams. It was just a smoke bag and paraphernalia. I don't know what the hell else he had on him, you know what I mean? Could have been some Molly or some. You know what, sugar booger or whatever these niggas doing nowadays. But don't quote me on that because I don't know his personal business what drugs he had on him. But they say it was paraphernalia, but normally paraphernalia is some type of object. You know what I mean? Could have been, could have been blunt. So who who knows, man? Or it could have been something else in there. But you know what I mean. My dog, you know what I'm saying, still in the can. They still got him detained. He ain't moved. I don't know if the feds going to pick up the case, man. But I know this dude a legend, and it's too late in his career to be going down, man. He's 40 years old, man. You know, this dude used to be real popular almost 16 years ago. You know what I mean? When niggas was wearing Coogee and... Wearing tall tees and shit, you know what I'm saying? OJ Juice, man, he up in the age rank right now, you know what I mean? So he just need to sit the back and chill, put out a couple of artists, and you know what I mean, get a bag off them. Because he done been around the world twice, you know what I mean? With Gucci Man and Solo, you know what I'm saying? But his career didn't never really take off like it's supposed to. You know, Waka Flocka was bigger than him. Gucci was bigger than him. Rocco was bigger than him. Shorty Lowe was bigger than him. T.I. bigger than him. Dro bigger than him. But he always was a legend, you know what I mean? He just did a versus with uh, Jug Man. You know what I'm saying? They compared him to Jug Man. And, you know, O.J. bigger than Jug Man. A lot of people don't even know who the Jug Man is. You know what I mean? But he was another Atlanta uh, trap artist that was doing his thing. You know what I mean? And, you know, both of them boys had a versus. I don't know who won, but I'm I'm thinking it had to be OJ the Juice, man. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I ain't really heard too much from OJ the Juice, man. I know he been doing shows. He had a show set up for Mother's Day. So I don't know if he's going to be out to make that show. He might have to send the promoter back his money, man, because I know this dude be booked up every weekend, you know what I mean? 
I don't know what business he had out there in Kentucky, but probably it was show business or a feature or whatever, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. What y'all think about that boy OJ Juice, man, getting hemmed up out there in Kentucky, man. You know what I'm saying? Remember T. Grizzly got bammed up there. Let me know what y'all think. Peace, I'm out.